Good evening and welcome to Open House 2021. My name is Dan Bonafied. This is my 21st year teaching here at Clyde Savannah. Uh, this is a look at my course in Social Studies 8 that your child may be in this year. This course studies American history. It is the continuation of a two-year look at American history. They began the first half in seventh grade, and we'll pick up where they left off. We start with the Civil War, and we move through many eras of American history, including Reconstruction and Western Expansion, American Imperialism and World War I, the Great Depression and World War II, and the Civil Rights Movement and the Cold War era. We do get as close to modern day and current events as loud in our time frame. Uh, this will also include a lot of skills that they will need not only in social studies classes throughout high school, but also in many other classes as well, including reading for understanding, uh, answering short response questions, knowing how to read maps and graphs and charts uh, that will benefit them throughout their lives and throughout their time here at Clyde Savannah. My classroom expectations are fairly straightforward. I am interested in making sure that your uh, student is on time and prepared for class. Uh, we are still using most of our materials in, are available in digital form. I have been giving students the choice of doing things on paper or in the digital form in our Google Classroom. I do ask that students still have a folder or binder to carry their materials with because there will be many times where we start something but don't finish it that day and they need to bring it back with them the next day. Uh, this has already caused some uh, confusion with students, so I'm hoping to clear this up now. Uh, you looking at Google Classroom to see if something is turned in may or may not always be the best way, especially now with students having the option of turning things in by paper. So it's really important that you understand that their grades and school tool are the reflection of what they've done and what they haven't done. That's going to be much more accurate than just relying on Google Classroom. Uh, I figured this was the easiest and most effective way to make sure that students who are unable to attend class due to possible quarantining could still have access to all the materials that we're doing in class. But I didn't want to limit kids to only using the computers because I, I did recognize last year that many students did uh, enjoy and miss being able to do the traditional paper and pencil. Uh, my second expectation is that all people pay attention and participate in class. We learn so much from each other, not just from me, that it's really important to me that they listen to their classmates. Um, if they ask good questions and, and share their thoughts and their, their, their opinions, in many cases, that's going to help all of us gain a greater understanding of the topic that we're discussing. I, I do definitely encourage a lot of participation, a lot of questions, and, and I do my best to try and answer all of them uh, and at least steer conversations into the right direction. Uh, but paying attention and participation is a, a big expectation for me. Uh, my third and final expectation is, is being respectful to themselves and to everyone else. This room is going to be a place where everybody can feel safe uh, to share their thoughts, to ask their questions, um, and to just feel like they're in a place where learning can take place. And it's really important that we treat each other well so that we can make sure that those types of things are happening. My grading policy for this class is uh, based on three categories. Assignments are a quarter or 25% of the student's grade. Uh, I do accept work throughout the entire 10 week marking period for full credit, meaning if a student turns in something late, they can still earn a full 100 on any assignment in that 10 week marking period. What happens is I will mark them as a zero after I grade them right after the due date until they are turned in. Once they are turned in, that zero will be replaced with whatever grade the student earns. Uh, this does allow for students to make up missing work uh, on their own time, but it is going to have at least a short-term effect on their grade if they're continually turning in work late. So all assignments can be turned in at any point during the 10-week marking period that they were assigned for full credit, but they will be marked as a zero until I have something to grade. Writing assignments and any projects is the second uh, portion of my grading 
Uh, it accounts for about 30% of the student's grade. Um, these will include essays and any other uh, longer term projects that we do throughout the year. There are definitely gonna be some good opportunities for us to expand on students' writing and give them different ways to show me that they have uh, learned the content that we've been discussing. Tests and quizzes are the biggest portion of my grade. They will account for final, the final 45% of the average. All tests and quizzes are, are announced well in advance and uh, notes and study material are always available. We, we uh, have them both in digital form on, in Google Classroom and also on paper. Uh, they will be able to study, but they will not be able to use those materials during the actual test. Um, so I think it's important that these tests and quizzes are a large portion of the grade simply because it's going to help prepare them for high school where they will most likely be taking many regents exams. Attendance, always an important step to, towards any student being successful in class. We, we tend to focus most of our class time on completing assignments and uh, going through lectures and teaching the, the new material. So when you miss a day, you're often missing both an introduction to material and an opportunity to do some work uh, that's going to help you reinforce that material, but also to help keep your grade up. Um, if any absence occurs for any reason, I am asking that all students check Google Classroom. Uh, as, as I said earlier, I am putting assignments in Google Classroom, even if I am handing them out on paper to students as well. Uh, this is become increasingly important as we've seen some more quarantine uh, situations. It's, it becomes very difficult to keep up with who's out, and who needs work. And so this was my solution. Everything will be available in Google Classroom. So if you're out for any reason, whether it's quarantine or just a regular absence, I, I do suggest that you check Google Classroom to make sure that there isn't an assignment that you can do at home to make sure that you're not falling behind. Uh, we do have attendance procedures here at Clyde Savannah that do require um, a minimum number of uh, days of attendance. So attendance is not only important to being able to learning the content, but also to earning credit for the course. The easiest and most effective way that I have been uh, contacted by parents is always through email. It's very tough, you know, throughout the day to be able to answer phone calls. Um, but I can always, you know, take a few seconds to answer an email, whether it's while students are working uh, or during any free, free period I may have during the day. My email address is on the screen, stan.bonafide at clydesavanna.org. I do stress uh, good communication. I, I do my best to try and keep families informed, but I, I find it difficult sometimes when there is incorrect information in school tool. Um, so I, I do encourage you to make sure that your contact information is up to date with the school. Uh, I also encourage you to reach out to me with any questions um, that you may have, or even if you feel like you just need to do a check-in to see how the student is doing. I, I never have a problem with answering those emails. I look forward to those uh, because oftentimes it gives me a chance to say some good things about a student uh, as well, uh, instead of just contacting for negative ideas. Um, so I hope that this has introduced you uh, to Social Studies 8, and I encourage you to reach out if you have any questions, and I look forward to working with your student this year. Thank you.